Hey everyone, welcome to the Blitz Esports tier list. Today, we're taking a look at patch 8.14 plus the 8.13b hotfix, which are full of ADC buffs, an Aatrox nerf, and maybe some Bruiser Fizz. Let's go over all the big changes plus some counters to this meta's big threats. And for a full stat breakdown of each champion's pick man and win rates, you can check out the Blitz desktop app here, also linked in the description. We're always updating it with the latest stats and builds, plus easy to read guides on each champion's power spikes, weaknesses, and how to counter them in lane. Let's kick off our list with two major changes in the top lane. Aatrox is getting mostly nerfs to follow up his hotfix buffs that came right after his rework, which turned him into an impressive early game laner in both mid and top lane. The 8.14 nerfs partly revert the hotfix buffs and should keep him in check. He won't be able to push lane so easily, and the increased cooldown on his E will limit his mobility, especially in the early game. Overall, he'll still be pretty strong, especially for early and mid game, so he's moving over to A tier. As for counters, Aatrox doesn't really lose an early 1v1 fight, but is pretty weak to ganks and pretty easy to burst down if you can keep him from sustaining. Try to combine high base damage and crowd control in a gank to take him down. Remember Bruiser Fizz? You probably wish you didn't. The W changes in this patch might just be enough to bring him back. It's getting a lower cooldown and does 20 more damage at all ranks. It also grants an on-hit damage buff for 5 seconds, and you can keep this buff permanently up once the ability is rank 5. Don't be surprised if you run into him. The mobility and untarget ability alongside tankier items make him incredibly annoying to deal with. Next up is Jungle, which is getting 1 god tier demotion and 1 god tier promotion. Nocturne isn't getting any direct nerfs in 8.14, but they came in with the 8.13b hotfix. The nerf to his ultimate should reduce his strength in the mid game by quite a bit, and statistically, there are several jungle kits that can avoid his fear or that can just outduel him when they play around his spell shield. He's still a fantastic champion, especially in lower tiers of play, so he's only moving down to A tier. Last patch, the direct and indirect nerfs to Kindred put them in A tier but the 8.13b hotfix indirectly buffed them through Storm Razor, which is a popular item for them. On top of that, Wukong and Nocturne are getting nerfed and Talia was hit in the hotfix, which all contribute to Kindred's rise to the god tier of junglers. Their jungle clear is fast and healthy, the ganks are deceptively strong, and Kindred stays relevant in all stages of the game. If you're looking to ruin Kindred's parade, your best bet is early game duelists that can jump and burst, like Jin Zhao, Nocturne, or Rengar. In competitive play, Gragas is a go-to counter since he can displace Kindred and also knock them out of Lamb's Respite. Now for the mid lane, where Zoe, Ari, and Talon are the focus. Zoe is getting a nerf to her W, heavily reducing its base damage and AP ratio. But this isn't enough to drop her out of God tier. Her W does way too much easy damage on top of giving her actives and summoner spells. She'll still be strong for skilled players and going into mid game, she's incredibly good at picking off opponents. If you're looking to counter Zoe, try mid laners with strong wave clear, like Aurelian Soul, Malzahar, Talon, or Ziggs. They can shove her under turret and limit her interaction with you in the early stages. Ari is getting a pretty sizable buff to her charm duration in early ranks, which is especially important in the early stages of the game. A 1.4 second charm is nothing to scoff at, and its gank assist is going to bring ally junglers to her lane more often. She's moving up to B tier. As a side note, we should probably address the elephant in the room, Talon. He's getting nerfed, and the recent smite mid trend might go downhill because of the nerfs to funnel strats. On the other hand, Talon is just fine with Ignite, and the only thing his W nerf does is pigeonhole him into building Tia map for wave clear, which most Talon players were already doing. All in all, we're keeping him in god tier. The highlight of 8.14 is really on AD carries, specifically ones that can build crit strike. Caitlyn and Tristana got buffed in the 8.13b hotfix and now Vayne is getting some love. For even more fun, their itemization got buffs. Brawler's gloves are cheaper and Storm Razor is an even better early game item now that its passive scales up to 200% crit when you only have 30% crit chance. This basically means ADCs get a stronger 2 item spike with a Storm Razor plus Zeal item. Jinx and Twitch were already performing fairly well on 8.13, and this patch, they're getting base health increases, which will help them get out of lane. Traditionally, they struggle in the early game against stronger lane bullies, so this propels them to A tier. On the flip side, we're moving Lucian down from God tier to A tier. 
He's still a strong marksman, but with his crit AD carry composition getting a stronger 2 item power spike, his early to mid game dominance will take a hit. And last up, we have the support. No major shakeups, but a couple of notable changes. Before this patch, support Karma was struggling, and also got hit with a nerf to her shield duration. This meant she got outperformed by almost every conventional support, from enchanters to mages and all in tanks. Now, 8.14 is giving her base mana regen and armor buffs that should give her more presence in the bot lane. And the splash radius increase on her Q means she can look at more opportunities to poke enemies when hitting minions next to them. It's enough to move her from C tier to B tier. On the other hand, we have Shen. While a nerf to his Q slow doesn't really affect top lane Shen, who maxes the ability first, it does hurt support Shen, who usually only maxes it second. While he's a common pick in competitive matches, he wasn't doing so well on 8.13 in ranked matches, and this nerf will pull him further down to C tier. And that's it for the tier list, feel free to discuss or ask us any questions in the comments below. For more champion stats and guides from Blitz, download our desktop app for League of Legends. We not only tell you the best builds for your champion, who's hot and who's not, but also help you look up teammate stats and enemy playstyles, Totally automatic, no typing required as you go through champ select. Intrigued? Check it out at blitz.gg slash tierlist.